Okay, so I think I'm recording. Uh, I'm a bit of a, in a bit of a hurry because uh, my dad told me to go take some pictures of this like platform or platform, and I thought it was like an hour drive away. And then when I was supposed to go or leave, like now, uh, I took it into Google Maps and realized it was two hours away. I should have known. I should have checked. But I was actually like on Google Maps the entire like night of yesterday to just find location to stay. But they're going in this like fjord. And I'm gonna try to get some pretty nice uh, images of them and the weather is kind of bad But I think like the mood Might work, but it's like a two-hour drive and then I'll be there for like two three hours And so I'll be gone the entire day and I wasn't even supposed to do that and then there was a delivery so And it was kind of heavy. I don't fucking know. Yeah, we're doing shit in our house So it looks kind of bad, but still there's my cat. So I'm gonna have to leave now Okay, so uh, I'm currently just uh, taking some pictures. I came a bit too late, or I came in the perfect time, but I couldn't like film for you. It's kind of incredible, like how big these boats are and the the platform. Uh, so there's like two, what's called the anchor handlers, and then there's one or two smaller like towing boats. So the thing is, I might have to change positions uh, but I'm not sure how long it's gonna take for the platform to move but I was thinking about I'm standing like on the road uh, at I'm guessing like 20 meters above the water so I was hoping to get like very down close when the platform is passing uh, in the narrower area of the fjord Okay, so I just switched switched locations. Uh, currently now below. It looks so much closer in uh, in real life. So I'm not that far away. So this is probably where I'll be staying, somewhere around there. Okay, so there's currently so much happening right now. Uh, I have, I'm not taking pictures like of the same uh, fucking subject a thousand times. It's just like moving so fast with three like or four like different moving parts. Now I'm currently recording the platform once again, and then I might actually have the, one of the boats in the background. Okay, so right now we have. Ah, oh, you can barely see me. Okay, so right now we have uh, the platform in the back there and then we have another anchor handler on this side backing into the area where I am so they will like turn over and get on this side and then we have my uh, dad's boat you can call it basically it's the green one anchor handler backing up but there's no interest thing there now so I'm kind of just recording 4k footage of the, uh, the platform moving because that's hella cool if I can get some good images oh shit Okay, so one of the things I haven't fixed or like been able to do yet is switching between like predetermined settings. So every time I'm moving from video to photo, even though I know I can just hit the dial, I'll go like manually back and forth For, with, with the ISO and shutter speed. So sometimes I forget like now, but I <laughs> luckily remember to do that. And now that the boat is that close, it doesn't like... There's nothing super special about it, because everyone has taken a picture of a boat close by, so... I'm trying to get like a setting of the two boats together, like this. Come on! Ah, uh, <laughs> Trying to get a nice composition with like 
different boats because the boat them uh, by themselves in the fjord isn't that interesting so I just got like a bit of a composition where the the bigger boat that you just saw uh, revealed the smaller boat that uh, the green one so I don't know if that's gonna work yeah but this is hella cool it, I'm guessing it was like a hundred meters from me the boat you just saw the, the perspective on the cameras are a bit off so I felt them like just up in my face and then now they are docking and I have the platform just behind me and I'm hoping to get that even closer but I'm not sure where to, whether to use like the the telephoto lens or uh, the wide angle one at 28 <sighs> uh, I've been shooting for two hours basically even though it's felt like an eternity uh, getting some super nice fucking shots uh, especially in the 4k video with my camera but I've never done this kind of shoot before, so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, so that's kinda cool. Down to like 200. Oh, yeah, this looks cool. Let's see, just one more with these two, and then we'll be done. Second shutter and then just take a regular picture, 4,000 ISO. Yeah, we're leaving. Ah, fuck. Ah. I'm complaining way too much. <laughs> 